sorrow which you've started, you leave your worthy father broken hearted. And when there's an enemy to defame, they cloak their spite in fair religion's name. And Tartuff. Tartuff? <laughs> Why, he's round and red, bursting with health and excellent things. Ah, poor fellow. Cover <laughs> that bosom, girl. The flesh is weak and unclean thoughts are difficult to control. Such sights as that could undermine the soul. For your soul, it seems, has very poor defences. Good God, man! Have you lost your common sense? Or is this all some joke at my expense? Am I to yield to a rival's arms and not console myself with other charms? Go then! Console! yourself. I'll tell my husband nothing of what's occurred. If, in return, you'll give your solemn word and advocate as forcefully as you can the merit of Valet and Marianne, renouncing all desires to dispossess another of his rightful happiness and... No! Truth never occur to those who know me best to think I acted from self-interest. Belongs now to the good Monsieur Tartif. I rescued you when you were destitute. Have you forgot that, you thankless brute? Have you failed to see it? May I ask? Is not a face quite different from a mask? <laughs>